recycling begins with the arrival of recovered paper from homes, schools, offices, and other sources. In the Jackson Warehouse, the recovered paper is stored until it is ready to be placed into the recycling process. Here, the various types of paper are separated by grades and sorted to remove solid contaminants like plastic bags or other things that may be mixed into the bundles. The paper then moves on to be recycled. The principal ingredient in paper is the pulp originally made from wood. The recycling process recovers the pulp so it can be used again. Typically, for every 100 pounds of recovered paper processed, more than 70 pounds of pulp will be extracted for and reused to make new paper. The first step in the process is the pulper. This large vat contains a rotor that mixes the recovered paper with white water. White water is water that has been recovered from the mill's paper-making operations and reused as a conservation measure. The gentle mixing starts the process of breaking down the recovered paper into its component parts, pulp, fillers, and contaminants. Next, the pulp is washed and passed through a series of screens to separate the pulp fibers from larger contaminants such as bits of plastic and clusters of glue. At this point, most of the solid and semi-solid contaminants have been removed, leaving the pulp with essentially just cellulose fibers and water. However, the pulp still contains the ink that had been on the paper and it has to be removed. In the de-inking or flotation process, air is injected into the pulp and water mixture causing fine bubbles to form. The ink separates from the pulp fibers and sticks to the surface of the bubbles, which rise to the surface as a foam. Residual glue and adhesives that were not eliminated in earlier steps also stick to the surface of the bubbles. The foam is vacuumed off the top of the liquid surface, leaving the clean pulp ready to go on to the next step. The residual materials collected from the screening, centrifuging, and flotation processes are all combined and beneficially reused. Currently, these residuals are used as a cover material at a local landfill due to their inert and impervious properties. The residuals have also been used as a source material for roofing paper in the past. Since brightness is a prized quality for paper, the pulp is whitened before it is ready to go to the paper machine. Hydrogen peroxide is the main ingredient to provide the desired brightening without introducing harmful chemicals into the process. That's a basic overview of the paper recycling and pulp recovery process. Each year, the Jackson Mill recycles over 100,000 tons of recovered paper, over 200 tons daily, and 100% of the recycling process residuals are beneficially reused.